Scientists left in awe by man who qualifies as both a giant and a dwarf. Think of genetics like a road map. Scientists can look at anyone's genomes and pretty much figure out where they're headed and how they're going to develop. That's what made a man named Adam Rayner so peculiar. His map didn't make sense. Born in Graz, Austria in 1899, Rayner was much shorter than the average baby and doctors diagnosed him with dwarfism. However, over the course of his life, he experienced a growth spurt unlike anything medical professionals ever encountered before. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Standing on the left, the tallest man in the world at the end of the 19th century, Adam Rayner. It's almost impossible to believe that just a few years prior, Adam was barely taller than the man on the right, the world's shortest man. How the experts wondered did Adam Rayner seem to stop growing and then just start all over again? To better understand such an odd case, the experts dug into Adam's entire life. It was like nothing they'd ever seen. Adam was born in the town of Graz, which is in Austria. His parents were fairly average in height, without any cases of gigantism or dwarfism in the family. So Adam's parents were shocked to learn that their son was going to grow to be well below the average height of a normal child. But like any parent, they accepted the truth with pride. Because of his mutation, Adam was studied by doctors throughout much of his childhood ensuring no further abnormalities occurred. Adam lived a relatively normal life until around the First World War. Adam was eager to enlist and fight for his country, but because of his height, he was deemed an ineffectual soldier and denied access. Dejected, he returned home. That's when his feet started to grow. Without growing an inch taller, Adam's shoe size started increasing. His feet grew and grew until he was wearing size 20 shoes. Great, Adam thought. Now he was short and his feet were huge. To put his feet into perspective, Shaquille O'Neal, the enormous seven-foot basketball player, wears a size 23. But Adam was barely five feet tall at the time. Once Adam hit 21 years of age, however, everything changed drastically. A growth spurt unlike doctors had ever seen struck Adam like a freight train, and after only one decade, he shot up to just over seven feet. Nothing made sense to the doctors. They racked their brains for theories. How is this possible? Doctors assumed there was an issue with Adam's pituitary gland, creating excessive amounts of growth hormones and causing agromegaly, a hormonal disorder. Okay, Adam wondered, but what did that mean for him? Would he stop growing? Doctors informed him his disorder came with other dire side effects. While Adam may not have felt them right away, at some point they'd set in. They were right. Soon, Adam was suffering. About halfway through the rapid growth spurt, Adam's spine began severely bending, causing extreme pain and, interestingly enough, a drastic lack of appetite. Not long after, other senses began to fail also. The vision in his right eye soon began to wane, and he eventually lost all sight. It was only a matter of time before his hearing went as well. All these issues forced doctors to conclude they needed to operate. On December 2, 1930, a professor named O. Hirsch performed an invasive operation to remove a tumor growing on Adam's pituitary gland. If all went well, they could put a stop to his rampant growth and he could settle into a relatively normal life. Unfortunately, the surgery didn't have the intended effect. Adam stopped growing for a little while but in a few weeks' time, he was shooting upwards again. Would anything ever change, he wondered? After the operation, Adam was essentially bedridden. His back ached, walking was impossible, his health grew worse and worse until he sadly passed away in 1950 from ongoing problems. After he passed, newspapers approached his life heartlessly. Writers and journalists debated how tall he was in his prime. Did he hold a record? Did he touch eight feet? He became a figure in the eyes of the media, his humanity disregarded. But this was not so uncommon for people who dazzle us with height. Others, like Adam, were treated almost like mythical creatures. From silly, boundary-pushing clowns to mind-bending acrobats, Victorian-era people that didn't fit normal were put on display for the whole world to marvel at. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational stories.